everybody. Welcome to the Firefly Studio 67. Today we are going to work on some more ideas using up the book pages that we've all got in our drawer or our cabinet or probably everywhere. If you've been doing creating junk journals for very long, you have probably you got a lot of these laying around. So what I came up with was another little journal card using the book pages and I think it's really cute. It's a great way to use these and it's really quick because if you're like me I, I get bogged down. I find it very difficult to follow a lot of intensive instructions so I like things that are quick and easy. You can knock them out and just get a stash of these built up so that when you're ready to make some journals you can just grab these. So let's jump in. The first thing I'm going to do is just glue two book pages together. Just gives it a little bit more strength. And then you can, I don't know if I showed you, but I will back it with some tea dyed paper at the end so that you've got a nice little writing space behind. So just get that glued down. And then the next thing you're going to want to do, you can either cut that with your paper cutter or I'm going to run it through the Big Shot because I like the rounded corners. And I've got this little framelit here. Now somebody has asked me about these dies in the past and unfortunately this was an unbranded set. And as I recall, I picked them up from Hobby Lobby, but they're, they're unbranded so... It's very easy to find this sort of thing. If, um, if you don't have a craft store, you can just do a search online. Okay, so that's what we're going to end up with. And now, I'm just going to add a little bit of gesso to that, and then I'm going to dry it just to speed it up. So, unfortunately, you're going to hear... The, um, the heat gun. And I'm putting this on pretty thick as you can see because I want to try to get some of the wording covered pretty good. I wouldn't, you don't have to add it that thick. You can do it in several thin layers, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to do it. So let me, sorry guys, I'm going to have to crank the heat on here for just a second. Now the next thing I added was one of the wildflower cutouts. So this is a Tim Holtz die. If you've been following me, you probably know that um, I've talked about these for some time. Uh, I, I no longer have an Amazon affiliate, so you'll just have to do a search for um, it's the Sizzix Tim Holtz um, wildflower dies. So I've cut that out. And what I ended up doing last time, I just put a little bit of the gesso on there. And then I came back in with some of the vintage photo ink and just distressed around the edge. I've got several projects coming up, guys, using book pages. Um, it's ended up being, <clears throat> you know, something that a lot of people have asked me to do because we're all drowning in book pages. So I'm going to be sharing quite a few um, videos in the next few weeks with some ideas. This is one of the little white markers. I just added a few little dots here and there. Nothing 
really drastic. It's just very subtle because it's in the background and the butterflies are really what the focal point is on that anyway. So. so now I'm just going to get this glued down. There's several shops that sell the butterfly images, if you're interested in those, um, you could use butterfly die cuts. I've got several of those, but I've got a couple of these left over, so I'm going to go ahead and use them up. Stash busting. Um, okay, the next thing I did, I've got some muslin here, and I just trimmed it down. And I'm going to stamp on that, but first uh, I'm going to cut it out, or tear it off first, just to make sure I've got it the right width. <clears throat> Where did I go with that stamp? Okay, here we go. So, just in case somebody asks, um, this is from the Butterfly Basics. This is a retired Stampin' Up! set, but this stamp I'm using from it. Okay, guys. So I've got that little bit of fabric stamped. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to hold that down. It doesn't take much to hold that in place. So I've got a couple of um, nature journals that I'm working on. They're going to be fabric covered, and I think these are going to be really pretty in that. Um, okay, another thing, and again, this is <clears throat> from the same stamp set. It's just a little postage mark. I'm just going to put that up there for a little bit more interest in the background. And now, let's get a couple of the butterflies cut out here. I did not have this in advance, so done in advance, so I'm sorry about that. You'll just have to watch me as I fussy cut. I try to get everything prepped as best I can, but as you can see, I still... I'm just not that organized. Um, let's see, I'm going to need another one, and I don't. I'm going to use one of these this time. So you can use up bits of fabric on this because it they're so small. You can take fabric, little bits of laces. That's why I'm just trying to grab up things that I've got lying around and get them used. Particularly these book pages. I've, I ended up having to finally throw some out. I mean seriously, it was just unbelievable because I've gutted so many books, you know, and there was just no way I was going to use all of them, so I just ended up putting them in the recycle um, 
because it was just, I, I could have worked on those the rest of my life and still not gotten through them all, but little by little, I'll try to keep um, some interesting <clears throat> projects coming. a little bit of ink there to tone the white edges down a bit. And I will add, the only thing I would say on this, like the butterflies, I try not to let them hang over the edge too much, just because, um, you know, it's going in a journal. Now the next thing is I'm just going to add a little, a little phrase. I just like the words. Just add this down at the bottom here, and then that is done, guys. That's how quick. How quick is that? So, um, there you go, guys. That's another idea for you. I really like how those have come out. And as I said, these are going to be going into a couple of nature journals, but you could do these shabby chic, any theme. But I love the fact, oh yeah, the only other thing on this one is I, I will back that onto some tea dyed paper so that it will, um, and if, oh, I could have stitched around it as well. I forgot to do that. But yeah, you can sew around it before you add all your embellishments. But this one I will just uh, trace, I'll put it, I'll glue it on there and then just trace around it. So there you go, guys. That's a couple more ideas on how to use up those book pages. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that when I post something, you'll be notified. And also, <clears throat> if you want more content, please consider joining my Patreon site. The details are in the description box below. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you here very soon. Bye!